Here they are with Oh What A Shame. Starting with the Arctic Monkeys around the UK, how was that and what was the reaction towards you as a new band? Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, we all really enjoyed it and they were really nice lads and I suppose like what, really enjoy- what we really enjoyed about it was the size of the venues we got to play and so I suppose the new crowds and yeah, I suppose the, reaction, well. the reaction we got as well considering the reaction support bands normally get was amazing because normally they don't really yeah. listen. Yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, we were really happy with the whole tour. Yeah, we had a good time. Yeah. That's really good. And you're very popular in Jama- Japan. 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 Yeah. You Japan. <laughs> um, what was it like over there? And have you a large fan base there? I am um, Josh. I know you said there's some here today. Yeah, there's two here today, isn't there? Yeah. There's a couple. There's a couple there. Yeah. Yeah. In this week's Artwork Agenda, we talk to Erjan Iboga, who is co-author of the new book Revolution in Rojava, Democratic Autonomy and Women's Liberation in Syrian Kurdistan. Erjan Iboga is an environmental engineer and ecological activist living in North Kurdistan with an intimate knowledge of the Syrian conflict and the revolution currently taking place in Rojava. At his book launch, we're attended members of the community of County Cavan, and those interested in the new and dynamic revolution taking place in this area. So we'll go over for a short interview with Erjan, and then we'll have snippets from his talk at the book launch on December 14th at the Bridge Street Centre in Cavan Town. My name is Erjan Iboga. And are you from the area? Um, I am from uh, the city Diyarbakir, which is also called Ahmed, with a historic name. It is Kurdistan, but not the Syrian part, it is the Turkish part. Okay. So Very close to Rojava, the Syrian Kurdistan. Just north of the border? Very yes, interesting. 100 kilometers far away. Yes, it's a very old city at the Tigers River. Okay, excellent. So can you tell us a little bit about uh, the movement and how it's a unique and different type of movement as a... Uh, a cultural and national expression of Kurdish uh, culture. You're speaking about what's going on in Rojava. Yeah. How is it unique? Uh, it is unique because amidst the wars in Middle East mm. and the poorest of Syria. Welcome along to Patsy's Pick a Mix. And Daniel's here to help me out. As usual. Hello, Patsy. Hello, Daniel. How's the cutting? I'm very good. I'm very good. So, tell me, you were at a town a, hall event? A party in the town hall. Yeah, it was fantastic. Hold on. You were at a party? It's yeah, not like you to be drinking. I, well, no, I wasn't drinking. Yeah, right. <laughs> there was drink involved. I know, yes. Just a few drinks. So, tell us about this party. Yeah, they were celebrating. Uh, they were after uh, getting um, a signing over contract with the... County Council. Oh, election. so they've had it a year, is it? They've had it a year. Mm. Um, Happy birthday to them. Yeah, it was. It was a great party. So essentially the whole thing was kind of like a birthday celebration. Wasn't yeah. It? Oh, yeah it nice. Was, yeah. And then they took the Zoom and them red lights on them Zooms, people stopped to talk. Ah, it always terrifies people. Don't worry yeah. about it at all. So I went along and just had a few drinks and chatted away to people. That's brilliant, brilliant. So what do you think of the town hall? It's brilliant. Uh, what, do you think it's changed much since, well, since changed, the political yeah, days? It has changed, yes. Yeah. It has, it has definitely changed. Right. I think it's definitely going to better community use than it did. Yeah, we used to just sit there for... Council meetings. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, now it actually serves a community purpose for yeah. cheering people up yeah. and, and getting people out and active and... Oh, yeah. I think it, it looks brilliant, it's got great events on, and the crew down there are pretty good as well. Oh yeah, they're, really very, good. they're very good, you yeah. know, like, and, and all the plays that they do, you know. Yeah, you yeah. Know, and the art as well. So what are we doing first? Are we having a wee bit of music before we move on to... Yeah, and then we'll just mosey into it. Okay, alright, so, and uh, so here's some music and we'll be back after this. Okay. Okay.
Your name is? My name is Joe Keenan. And you go, and this is the Cabin Town Hall? Yes, Town Hall Cabin Club. Art Space. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, and I, I'm one of the creative directors, the four running the place at the minute. And who are the other three? Uh, the other three, Sally O'Dowd, Siobhan Harden and uh, Philip Doherty. Yeah. And, and there's the, also a board of directors uh, as well right. as, as part of the running of it, you know. And what's this all in aid of now? Can you it's purely, uh, we've taken over the running of the town hall to turn it into an arts theatre um, space in right. the cabin. Yeah. And uh, we've been, we opened last October with the Festival of the Dead. Yeah, well, uh, I was there. You were there at that, that yeah, yeah, which is bizarre it and was beautiful, bizarre. wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was strange. It was strange, <laughs> but wonderful, yeah. yeah. And uh, we've been doing sort of a lot of uh, productions and bringing in shows as well and right. we've had a few really good music pieces as well like with Lisa O'Neill and uh... so let's go over to our host Patsy Sheridan food glorious food we're anxious to try it three banquets a day our favourite diet just picture a man and steak a lot of the stuff. Right. Really enjoyed it. Lovely food. We did and bought their sausages. Oh. <laughs> and rasher. <Roger. laughs> yes, we did. Because I have the, uh, families come to me on a Sunday morning, the two oh. families. So, yeah. so we always have a breakfast. <laughs> I even bought the box tea here as well from a cousin of my own. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Not a variety. You're tasting everything. Tasting everything. Great Irish products. We couldn't get any better. Well, that's good. Yeah, so enjoying myself, yeah. Right. Getting lots of money. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm Susan Wiggins from Old Castle, and this is really a fantastic show, and there's a great variety of stands, and it's most enjoyable. And it's wonderful to see a dude like this coming to the lovely county of Cavan. You're very welcome to our show this morning. This is the pa- the ten to ten to twelve show with Paddy Kyo and Martin Campbell. And here is our first song, "Knee Deep in Our Knee Deep in Your Heart" by Shane Fyland. Life was running past me, days and hours flew like it had no color. You're listening to the Scoop with me, Megan Brady, on Calvin Online Radio for all your latest celebrity news and music. So, some of you might not know, but World Book Day is on Thursday the 6th of March. So, for World Book Day, I got the chance to speak to the fantastic Irish author, Denise Deegan, who wrote the young adult butterfly novels. Take a listen and enjoy. So, hello Denise, and welcome on The Scoop. Oh, hi Megan. So, um... <laughs> Some people might know, but you are the author of the Young Adults Butterfly novels. Yes, I am. So would you like to give us a short summary about them? Yes, sure. Um, so they're novels for teenagers, and um, they're contemporary. In other words, they're modern. They're set in like Ireland, in Dublin, modern day time, and um, they're based on three friends um, who are in transition year, Alex, Sarah and Rachel. Welcome to the Christmas Mixed Bag. This is your host, Daniel Downey and... Maria. And... Dozy. And... Ed. Dan. Um, I've got sweets in my mouth. Patsy. <laughs> Patsy, you've always got something in your mouth. And this used to be a prison, you know. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> what about you, Ed? Uh. Try and teach you something about music. <laughs> <laughs> I know something that's difficult. But, uh, <laughs> setting the bar pretty high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Find a country version of Sinead O'Connor then. My work. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, Elvis. Elvis, <laughs> yeah, Elvis Colin covering nothing compares to you. Or something. <laughs> 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 right, we come to the end of our show then. Yeah. We have it's time to say goodbye. You have to what? Bye. Goodbye.
Goodbye, folks. Goodbye. Happy Christmas. Yeah, and... <laughs> no, I don't think it meant that. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Christmas! <laughs> Happy New Year as well. Just in case. In case you don't think it's Yeah, you prick. Shut up, Patsy! Shut up, Patsy! <laughs> right, Michael, we're going to start off with... I think the the first track we hear, have here is Airborne. Right, and why Airborne now? Uh, uh, because I'm a big ACDC fan. Right. And uh, Airborne were flagged up as being the new ACDC. ACDC. They're from Australia and um, they grab all their roots from DC and as... Anyone that knows their stuff will right. soon find out. It was a great gig. They really rocked the place. It was at the Ambassador in Dublin. Right. And, uh, oh, they went clean mad about it. And nearly everybody there was an ACDC fan. And, uh, yeah, it, it was good. High energy, good night ar- right. all around. Sure, let's give it a listen. And this see. is the song they opened up with. Right, so we'll open up with this one then. It's called Running Wild. That's me. Running Wild. <laughs> it's just it. Police are in pursuit of a speeding tractor trailer in the downtown Los Angeles area. And reports are that the rock band Airborne are actually playing live inside the truck. I've, I've never seen anything like this before. That was a classic song. You enjoyed it? I really enjoyed that, yes. Yeah. That's yeah. the first time I heard of that. Am I allowed to say that without... Of course you can, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm not one well, but surprised, to be honest. Yeah. What uh, album is it from? Shangri-La. Shangri-La. Yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, he has a, a great catalogue of solo albums. Yeah. Um, and Shangri-La is one of the, the better ones, yeah. 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 Um, he's just so good at picking up on different subjects. Subject, yeah. And taking just them, putting, putting them music. on paper and getting it out there in his own style, you know. Um, good to see Sonny Liston get a mention. Yeah. Apart from just being a stat in history. That's right, because... To know a bit about his background. Yeah. And, yeah, I thought it was good of him to do it. It was good of him, very good of him to do it. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's our last song for this show. Yeah. Can we do it again? That's what we want to know. Well, is that OK with you, Dozy? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, yeah. I'd yeah, love we'll do to. It again. Yeah, thank yeah. you. I, I'm, I'm honoured to be here. I love it. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. We're honoured to have you. Oh, <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'll pick half a dozen again and yeah. um, we'll see if we can get a Dozy a bit more educated. In the music field. Well, it's about time he started not educated, learning but something ex- about expand, music. Isn't it? Expand his knowledge. Spam, yeah. Yeah, I, I like spam too. <laughs> no, oh, it's expand. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm thinking about food again. <laughs> <laughs> You're never far away from it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, th- I'd just say goodbye, I suppose. And right, well, goodbye, everybody, and uh, I hope you found something in there that tickled your fancy. And uh, I look forward to seeing another you session. Another session, yeah. And doing it again. Right, thank you, and uh, thank you for coming along and helping us out. Not at all, it's a pleasure. And I'd like to thank Dozy for sound. Yeah, he's sound. He's I'm a sound. Sorry. He's a sound boy, isn't he? He is. Sound lad. He's a sound lad. Yeah, he is too. Surely. 
And thank you, Dozy. <laughs> yeah. No problem. So I'd like to thank you all for listening in to Kevin Online Radio with a click of a button. We can.